Hi, my name is Van James. I'm a teaching artist from Hawaii, and I would like to introduce a series of painting videos, painting exercises for teachers who work with students in grades one through 12. Look for a separate video on supplies, the materials you'll need to start these lessons. And once you're prepared with that, let's get started. This painting is for eighth grade anatomy students. We're going to paint the skull. However, it could also be used for a Halloween painting or Dia de los Muertos, the Day of the Dead. And we're going to make it a little bit more celebratory by the colors that we're going to use. For the anatomy lesson, one might just stick to the blue shades, Prussian and ultramarine blue. But here we're going to take the full range of colors. We'll take lemon yellow at the upper part of the page and bring down the side of the page. And then just gradually bringing it in down at the bottom and over to the other corner. I'm going to have a little bit of ripple in it, a little bit of coming in here on this side. After rinsing our brush, we'll take the Prussian blue from the opposite side and bring it down this side of the page. We'll also sculpt it in just a little bit at the bottom part and then bring it across the yellow. Bring it across and down under to make green. And this green can go all the way over to the other side. Now this painting can be done either as a veil painting, wet on dry, or as a quicker wet on wet painting, which is what we're doing now. We will then take our third primary color after the yellow and blue and bring it down from the top, just a bit from the top, and we'll begin to model, begin to sculpt, begin to paint the dome of the skull up above, bringing the red this is a crimson red, a cool red, carmine red. We'll bring it down into the blue on the one side. It'll make somewhat of a violet. And then we fade it out. And we take it down on the other side. It sometimes helps to rinse the brush so one doesn't drag the blue over to this side and we paint down onto this side. Now we can rinse our brush and fade out that color on both sides. Okay, uh, with the blue, if we go back to the Prussian blue, we can place in one of the eye sockets on this side and where the nasal cavity will be on this side and just a little bit of the jaw and where we will have the teeth going across. So we take the golden yellow on this side on this side of the nasal cavity as well, and also into the jaw. Can bring a little bit the cranial contours. And 
blend out some of the color, even mix some of the color. And we can go back to the other blue, the ultramarine, bring that up to get a nice rich violet up here. And get the colors a little stronger. Go right into the jaw and into the eye socket. And also a little bit of the shape of the skull there. And you can see we start getting a bit of a festive skull for the Day of the Dead. We can bring the golden yellow to make a little bit more of a ver vermilion red color up here, and then a stronger yellow down in this area. And if we want to increase the green with a clean brush, we take the lemon yellow and strengthen that lemon yellow, but come over then into the green. And in very quick fashion, we have the skull. So you can see from this painting exercise that we've worked with negative space to bring the skull out of the entire color circle from red, yellow, and blue as the primary colors, getting the secondary colors, and bringing the entire skull out of the color circle. Look for the 12th grade lotus painting. you see a similar exercise if you're interested in grade level painting exercises in watercolor for grades 1 through 12, go to Nurturer's Studio, where I have a whole series of available videos uh, beyond these YouTube videos. I hope you enjoyed this painting exercise and found some ideas for how you can develop your own further. Remember to not just observe them, but actually do the painting exercises because you learn so much more through the hand-eye intelligence that you gather from the work. Uh, if you want more resources, look into my book, Painting with Hand, Head, and Heart. And keep painting. Aloha, ahui ho.